it's not focusing. Focus. There we go. So, I guess what? I'm a liar. I'm lying. It looks like I'm going right in right now, but I'm not. I'm in my pajamas. Or whatever I went to bed in. <clears throat> whatever that was. Whoop. And then I like, yeah. It's just, oh my god, my voice is going out. <laughs> okay. So today I'm actually going to do a video. What? A video? Yeah, that's right. You heard me. And I'm going to hurry it along, but this video is a kind of tack haul thingy with stuff that I have not tried before. Focus on me. Okay, there we go. See, when you tell your camera to focus on you, it has no choice but to focus on you. Yeah. So, this is it. Let's go. Okay. So, first thing we have. First, okay. I know it's a tack haul, but this is my Starbucks. And it's the cinnamon roll frappuccino. It's amazing. You guys need to try it. Oh, my God. Well, that was my vet. She's amazing, by the way, just saying. Okay, now, first things first. This, <clears throat> oh, by the way, everything's from Mary's Tack and Feed, in case you guys didn't know. Their online store is amazing. Let's get started. First things first. So, I have this pod. It is the rear riser pad in 12 inches, black. And... The price on this was really good. It was, excuse me, $39.99. And it's super fluffy and it's super like squishy and foamy. It's very nice. I like it. And with Maelstrom, he has a really big wither and then a really flat back and then his like really high headset. So the way that my saddle sits, like pretend like this is my saddle. So my saddle sits back like this. Like this wither's so high so the front of the saddle comes up higher than the back. And it kind of puts my leg in like a forward position and I'm having to like, ugh, 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 to post, you know, like that. So this helps me not, you know, do what I just did. Um, and it, it just rises my saddle up in the back a little bit so it's matching my front. And with this, I will still put it either <clears throat> under my fleece, my, my black like fleece half pad thingy, or yeah, like, over or under whatever I just said first. So yes, this is this. And then since Maelstrom is like nearly 18 hands, and he likes to pull off his shoes when he only has the rubber focus. There you go. When he, oh, whoa. So yeah, Maelstrom is nearly 18 hands, and he likes to pull off his shoes and rip right through the rubber bell boots. So I got these gigantic Professionals Choice Triple XL Ballistic Bell Boot. And they're huge. Like, this is my, my face right here. And this is, this is the bell boots. They're gigantic. And they weren't that bad. At Mary's, they're only like $29.95, so... That's, that's pretty good. They're a double XL. And if you guys want a review on this, I know that it's really hard to find big, thick, heavy-duty bell boots for horses that have really big feet. And if these fit him, I will let you know just how large that they are. <laughs> and, um, so, oh, and I got them in white. I had, like, no other choice because that's all they had. But they do have them in black, but only black and white in the extra larges. So there's that. Um, I actually like white though. Like white's a kind of cool color. It doesn't stay clean, but if you wash your stuff like I do, like three times a week. Really? Finch. Oh my god. Was that not focused that whole time? So this next thing is a bit. And it is a happy mouth two ring jointed bit. And it's a six inch. And um, the br the bridle part hooks right here, and then your reins go down here, and it's not focused. Whatever. It's really dark now. Okay, so yes, I'm excited to use this one. I'm riding him in a pollen right now, and I just feel like it's a little too much bit for him, and I think he gets like anxious with it because it's so heavy. So we'll see if I still have control with this bit. And next thing that I got so excited about because um oh yeah they're gloves by the way 
or my last pair of gloves. Not my first pair of gloves because I go through gloves like every four months. But my last pair of gloves were the were like kind of the same. It was the same brand, but it wasn't like the same like style and stuff as these gloves. But I had them for a year, and they lasted me a long time. And then they started ripping like here, here, here. For some reason, I hold on to my reins like. I don't know why, I, it's just weird, I just have a huge hole like right here, and right here, and right here, and I think like the Velcro piece was falling off, and I forgot they were heritage like these ones, but I forgot what style they were because I looked for them, but I think that they discontinued them, so just my luck. But these are the Heritage Performance Riding Gloves, and they're the GPX Show Gloves, and they're size 6, and um, they were $39.99. So, I mean, again, that's a little much for gloves, but considering that they're so nice, that's pretty good. Um, I'll actually, I haven't really tried them on yet. Let's, let's try them on. You guys will be the first to witness. Oh, they're a little bit big, but I think they're okay. I have really small hands, so you can see they're just a little bit big. But they're so nice. Look at like the detailing in them. And they're so soft. Like uh I'm just kidding. Okay, um but yeah, like right here. That's pretty neat. And I, I like it how it's like double padded like here and here and not in between on the pinky and stuff. But um I swear, I need to put, like, make my own pair of gloves and just put, like, a pad, like, right here. Because this is where my finger pops out of all the time. I, I don't know why. And it's not even, it's not on the top where the seam is. It's, like, right, right here. Like, right in the middle. And I just wear it out with my gloves. And I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing. But, um, if there's anything that you guys want me to do a review on, just let me know. Um... I feel that I need to put it up for everything that I say. I think I've been on Facebook a little too much. I gag them a little bit. I know it's sad, but it's fine. Um, I should not put that in there. Oh my god.